Guys, I heard the creator and publisher of Fist Punchers is on this panel. You mean Stanley Siegel? Yep, Stanley the Manly. Get your free limited edition Fist Punchers comic here. Only 100 May. Whoa, it's limited edition. Check it. It's already selling for 500 bucks online. Ha, booyah. We're going in. Let's give a proper Fist Punchers welcome to Stanley Siegel! Fist Punchers unite! Now! So tell us, Stan bro, where did the idea for Fist Punchers come from? Well, there I was, late for a movie, and my car blew a tire on Broadway and 42nd. While I was waiting for the tow truck, I doodled a character on a napkin from my glove compartment. And can you believe it? That napkin doodle became a comic book! <laughs> Which led to action figures, video games, branded yogurt, an apparel line for pets, and a movie trilogy! But, 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 the key to the fist punchers is this. People like original and authentic ideas. Creators should never compromise their creativity! From a napkin to a movie trilogy. We could totally do that! I'm telling you, you guys, we could create the next comic book slash pop culture phenomenon. Why not? This on the square root. Go five. The odds of that happening are well too impossible to calculate. Yeah, but look at all the stupid stuff that people like nowadays. Yeah, like President Supervillain. Exactly. Or Cardboard Kid with the power to make boxes fast. Or Captain Buttcrack. Oh, that's just our teacher, Mr. Foot, bending over. Ugh, I wish I could unsee that. Guys, guys, didn't you hear Stanley? We just gotta draw on a napkin and sit back and we'll become famous. Yeah, how hard could it be to come up with the next big thing that everyone in the world loves? Now I got nothing. Maybe we need more napkins to doodle on. No more napkins. We used them all. Hey, wait, I got something. Nope, I'm too similar to Captain Buttcrack. You know, I really can't get that image out of my mind. Maybe we need to play some video games for inspiration. What's this? Ugh, that's a TP team. As in toilet paper? No, it's something my brother and Cooper made. They're always talking about it. Says here it's a story about a tomato and potato who want to get eaten, but no matter how hard they try, they always fail. And they fight crime. And rat battle. <laughs> Let me see. That's Bob. He's a tomato. I'm Steve. I'm a potato. And together, we're the TV team. Potato, I can't believe we are about to get in. I know, tomato. It's awesome, isn't it? It sure is. But look, that woman's purse is being stolen. Let's go potato mash that criminal. Then we'll pulverize him in the sun and finish with a rap battle. <laughs> it's nonsensical and weird. Yet totally original and authentic, just like Stanley said people like. Huh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ha-ha! I knew you were with me. And then Bob and Steve... Go undercover in a jail cafeteria! Yeah! Love the work, boys. I have a story idea. Maybe the TP team... Stop it, Brain! These are our characters! We draw and write, you scan and print. So, Angie, how are we gonna get this to the masses and become rich and famous again? Ooh, woo! When I'm rich, I'm gonna put a slushy machine in my room. I'm gonna put a slushy machine in my hot tub. Okay, boys, we got a long way to go before hitting it big, which is a big if. Oh, we will be successful. You know, we could self-publish. I have enough ink in my printer for about 10 copies. That's small time, sure. As I say, go big or go home. And I know just who can make this comic big. People don't like to be told something is good. They'd rather discover it for themselves. So, we have to get this into Stanley's hands without him realizing we gave it to him. I got this. Oh, so sorry. Ah, oh, here you go, little lady. It's not mine, sir. Must be yours. Mmm. That's interesting. Now we just sit back and wait. Who's got the popcorn? Hi there. I'm Angelo, and these are my associates. Sherwood, Vice President of Operations, and Lola, General Manager of General Managing. And here are the two creative geniuses who write and draw the TPT. Oh, this? Ah, not bad, kids. Gotta hand it to you, it's original and authentic. I know. I might be interested in publishing some issues. Uh, it'll be a low run at first for an untested idea. Now the game begins. The negotiation tactics you are about to learn here can be used in almost any life situation. From convincing moms to buying you more toys, to getting an extra dessert at dinner time, mm. to even who has the next turn in a game with friends. So, 
What do you think? Tactic one, always avoid making the first offer. What's your first offer? No, what's your first offer? No, you first. I insist. You first. No, I insist. You first. No, I insist. You're older, so you go first. Nah, but I am a gentleman. You go first. Hmm. Stanley's an experienced negotiator. This might be harder than I thought. Fine, fine, Angelo. All right. How about 50 copies? Guys, follow my lead. Tactic two, counter a lowball offer with an impossible counter offer. I'll see your 50 copies and raise you 100,000. 200,000. Two could a million billion. Plus five more. Tactic three, wincing. All right, all right. I'll up it to 75 copies. Oh. No, wait. Give it. 80. You, have no you guys are kidding me. Okay, fine. 90. Shut up, no loser. Way. No one cares about your You're opinion. right. That's more than I can print. Should we take it? <laughs> oh, no, sure. We are just getting started. The hundred. That's the final offer. Tactic four, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> 120. Um, all right, make it 125. 130. Tactic five, fake anger. How could you make such an offer? Yeah, it makes my skin boil with rage. Ah, rage, I'm full of rage. Looms, ah, hate her dream, I'm raging. Ah. Too much rage? Just a tad, kid. Tactic six, sorry, time to catch a flight. Let's uh wrap this up, we gotta get to the airport. All right, wait, I'll up the offer to 725 copies. Angelo, don't push it. I think he just offered us a great deal. Tactic seven, little old country lawyer. Now, uh, I may not be no big britches city lawyer or city slicker like yourself, but... I do serene know a bum deal when I hear one. Oh, I can't try fun like this one. I got no idea where I'm from, but I sound foreign. <laughs> Angelo, come on! I know all these tactics. I'm starting to think the TP team is a one-issue wonder. Call me when you got another story to show me. See ya. Here's my card. Oh. Whoa, Stanley just used the show me more tactic. That's an oldie but a goodie. I think we should have accepted his offer. Nah, we haven't pushed far enough. Negotiating is fun! No, it's not! Yes, it is! Ha! I'm negotiating with you! <laughs> hey, boys, can you write and draw a new issue? Of course they can. Let's go, kids! Sherwood, what's the typical run for a comic book? Don't know. Let me have a look. Hmm, that info isn't online. It must be a trade secret. Is this the, uh, Virgin's Lair comic shop? Okay, great. Uh, just wondering, how many copies of Fist Punchers do you normally buy? Really? That much? Okay, thanks! That's brilliant! Now, I just need to multiply that by the number of comic book shops in the country, and... Whoa! That would be about 20,000 copies! I guess we can push a bit harder. Hot off the presses! It's called TB Team 2! French Fried Revenge! Who is it? It's the, uh, TP Team! Team! There you go. Even better than the first issue. Ah, nice work, kids. Uh, I'll up the number of copies. Well, that's generous, Stanley, but the thing is... Ah, don't know how to say this, so I'll just say it. We have other offers. Tactic eight. You're not the only one. Angelo, I have a funner idea for negotiating. Tactic nine. Crazy demands while sword fighting. Hi -ya! Hi -ya! All right, fine. Will the animals pet the kids? <laughs> for 10,000. Take it or leave it. Tactic. Um, I forget. Just split the difference. Huh. Don't you normally publish like 20,000 issues of fist punchers? Hey, that's secret info. How'd you get that? I have my sources. Fine, 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 fine. I'm willing to meet you in the middle at 15,000. 18,000. Aha! It's a deal! You guys deliver me 100 original and authentic stories, and I'll publish 18,000 of each. Ooh. So, here's our standard rich and famous contract. I'll need signatures on every page and triplicate. Watch the carbon print. That stuff's a mess. Pull that out. Sign that. Do this right there. Oh, are you all right? All right. Handshake, 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 and handshake. Angelo, I'm impressed with your negotiating skills. Thanks. I get lots of practice. First, my mom. Full confession, she's a way tougher nut to crack than this guy. Man, why do they need everything in triplicate? And just like that, we are on our way to the big time. We finished the third issue. TP Team 3, blended in a blender. Yeah, it's awesome. The TP Team get blended, and then they get eaten. It's so glorious. Goodbye, world. TP Team, out. The series ended just like we imagined. Uh, hold
Hold up, Peter. You can't do that. The contract says we'll need at least 100 new stories. Yeah. And what about all the movies? And merch? Creators and... never compromise their creativity. Deal with it, brain. Oh. Well, that just means we need to come up with the next pop culture phenomenon. How hard could it be? 